Manny Hasey in that. Now, we've been showing you some of the serious damage left by last night's storms. Well, following that severe weather, some of you have been calling the station asking why sirens went off in your community, even though there wasn't a tornado. And then we got some calls saying, wait, now, why do they not hear sirens where they live and there was storm damage? Because it does get confusing. So we're going to bring in Ron right now to kind of clear up that confusion. Because I know that we're always used to that first Saturday a month, there's that tornado practice one. That's but right. then there, it was confusing last night. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes we call them tornado warnings or tornado sirens, but they really can be sounded for any emergency situation, including severe weather. And there's different criteria for them across the area. Something else to mention is that they're designed to be heard outdoors, not indoors. A lot of people are confused about that. So the intent is to hear them outdoors if you're outside and then go inside, seek shelter or go in for additional information. So Ron, what's the protocol on when they sound the sirens? So typically almost all areas, municipalities, the cities or townships or counties are responsible for sounding those alarms. And almost everyone has the protocol or policies for sounding them for tornado warnings. But some of the communities also sound them for severe thunderstorm warnings. So then I was going to say, if you hear the siren, does that mean it's within X amount of minutes or is there a time period or is it different for every and community? And the criteria for that also is very different as well. So one of the things is that some communities will not sound them for general thunderstorms not unless there's an expectation of the severe thunderstorms being particularly strong or considerably strong with winds of 70 miles per hour or greater. So one of the things that people should do is reach out to their local community to find out what is that protocol to know what to do in that situation. Right. Yeah. It was a massive, I feel bad for those yeah. people. All right, Ron, we appreciate it. Yes. Thank you for the and, clarification. And, and, and it's hard too because the air conditioning's on so that you right. don't even hear that. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and I must add, even if you don't hear a warning or siren, if you think the weather's threatening, always take shelter. That's true. That's what I did last night. I went out in my basement. Glad so. you did. I did. It was a mess when I got outside, yeah. though. All right, thanks, yeah. Ron. Thanks for that breakdown. I know many of you still may have some questions, so if you missed any of that or want more in-depth explanation, head on over to clickondetroit.com, where Local 4 Weather Team has written an article detailing some key points you should know about severe weather sirens.